Hey everyone, Jim with Evolution Power Sports. Today we're gonna demo uh, our code shooter flash device, the most badass flash device on the market. A um, Couple things, we, we've made some improvements to uh, both the data logging functions and we just wanna show you the adjustable launch control because nobody else has this. I don't even think anybody in the automotive world has anything like this. So uh, we, where we can adjust the launch control boost and RPM right from our phone. So stay tuned. All right, so now that we have the app open, I wanna show you guys some of the cool new features that Code Shooter has. Uh, first of all, if you go to the data logging app, we now have this map fix button. So for those of you that have uh, Evo big turbo kits, if you hit that map fix button, now your boost pressure will read correctly and it'll read all the way up to 45 PSI. Okay, so that's new. Uh, second thing is now we have these badass gauges um, that you can, you know, if you have your phone mounted in the car, you know, you can now watch your gauges rather than just looking at individual values. You can also change uh, the, the, the bottom and top gauges to scroll through uh, some of the um, data streams that are available. Uh, and then if you change it again, now you've got a line screen, okay? And, and what's gonna happen here is, you'll see the, the, the various uh, traces, but then you can also um, save it to a CSV file and actually view it on your computer. So very cool new features. And then of course, the, the feature that we've had, um, you know, uh, for quite some time is the adjustable launch control. And so I'm gonna show you that in a second. So for those of you that have the EVP launch control, uh, which by the way is the only factory ECU integrated launch control available for the Can-Am X3 and the Polaris at this time. That's something that we invented and are super proud of it, but now next level stuff. So if you hit the launch control button, you'll see that you have these sliders. So you can actually change your launch RPM with the slider and that, that gets done live, you know, so while the car's running, and then you can also adjust your boost pressure target here, and this will kind of add or, or take away ignition timing depending upon uh, where the slider's at. So you can use this to like fine tune your launch boost target, and this is your, your launch RPM. So we're gonna demo it with the car running next. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the, uh, the new data logging app, okay? And you can see it's connected to the car that's out in the dyno room. And uh, so here's, you know, the different things that we can monitor, uh, you know, boost pressure, lambda, belt temp, um, you know, all these different variables. Like I said earlier, we also have the map fix, so that way on customers that have our big turbo or even our big injector uh, stage four, stage five tunes, the boost will actually read correctly. Um, and, you know, and with four bar map sensors, that's all the way up to 45 PSI. Okay, so if you push the mode button now, uh, you go to a gauge pack, right? And you can display, uh, center will always be RPM, but you can have boost, you can have a number of different things on top, air fuel on the bottom, or you know a variety of different data streams, whichever you prefer to look at. And now you can put this up on your dash using our uh, EVP code shooter cradle, and uh, you can monitor all your stuff without any wires connected. Okay, so now we're gonna show you how it works with the car running. And then also I wanna show you this cool feature. We can start the car from here just because we can.
see we can do all of that right from here.